welcome back to the Reload Bench and the part two video in my series about the cold weather version of the Thoroughgood Warfighter Steel Toe Desert Boot. As you can see, I haven't done anything with the boots since I unboxed them and I treated them with Camp Dry. I still have the, the tag on the eyelet here. I took the original laces out of here, the factory laces and I'm going to keep them off to the side as a spare pair. I'm actually going to try out some other laces in there. Now I can go with the Rothko's, the three pack of, of the Desert Boot laces are fairly inexpensive. Although they're imported, they do okay and, and I, I've got them as a, a backup. But I wanted to try out an American made option and I found this kind of by mistake uh, looking on an Amazon affiliate link store. I came across these and I, I I added them to my cart. Now the reason I got this brand is because they're made in America and I'm familiar with this brand. It's from Paracord Planet. I bought some 550 Paracord from them. I keep some in my hunting gear and some in my truck. Uh, they sell different uh, colors, different lengths. Uh, you can buy it all through Amazon. It's fairly affordable and it's made in America. So they've got these 550 Paracord desert boot laces or you know coyote boot laces. So they kind of match the desert boot. So I wanted to give them a try. Now I've never tried their boot laces and I know that with 550 cord it's probably going to be as slick as the factory laces if not uh, more slick. So it's kind of got that laminated feel. These could come loose real easy which is a problem I've had with uh, laces in the past. So let's go ahead and take them out of this reclosable bag. Now something you can see right away is that the ends don't have uh, a clear plastic um, cap put on them. These actually have a shiny chrome metal cap. I don't like that. Uh, I mean, I, maybe I should paint these or something, but the metal might actually make it easier to feed through the eyelets, but uh, I just, why? why? Why not just go with plastic? I don't know if it's for durability purposes or what, but I'm gonna try them out and let you know what I think of them. So at some point, maybe I'll take them out and hit them up with some paint. Maybe I'll just leave them, but for now, I'll go ahead and lace up the boots. See how easy this is to feed through. And the main reason I haven't worn these yet is because I'm just trying to ride out the old boots. I mean, they're they're looking worse than uh, in the video that I, I shot just a couple weeks ago. But they're they're holding up. They're holding up. That my feet aren't sore. Even working 13 hours at the plant, uh, my feet aren't sore. And uh, <laughs> Uh, they're, they're just holding up. The, w the weather's changing, but because of our location here, it's 80 degrees one day and 50 some odd degrees the next. So I'm just, uh, I'm kind of riding them out and uh, just saving these for when the real cold weather gets here. Even though these aren't as insulated as some cold weather boots I've had in the past are, or some that are available out there are. Uh, they, they offer that, that flexibility that I've talked about uh, in the previous videos with the other Warfighter boots and that's the main thing that I'm, I'm looking for here. So it laces up pretty easy. Let's see, let's see if they're staying about even, they're staying about even. Yeah, so it laces up fairly easily. I, I wouldn't say that these, these metal tips make it easier. I would say it's about the same amount of effort. Uh, they are a little little bit slippery here, but uh, it's just kind of just odd. I mean, it's just odd. So I'll stop short of the top eyelet. There we go. So I thought I would just do a short video on that. I'll be talking about the laces uh, in a later video where I maybe talk about other things about the boots or maybe uh, the first time I change out the, the insoles or maybe when I go hunting or I'm not exactly sure what the next video will be but uh, at some point down the road if I change laces or if I have a problem with these I'll just explain it in another video I just thought for now I would just show these laces from Paracord Planet made in the USA thanks for watching